what's up people it's me Tony from Caesar Graphics welcome to my channel and if you're new to my channel please remember to hit the subscribe button so you will be notified anytime I post my tutorial all right so in today's tutorial I have this beautiful uh, present post I'm gonna teach you guys how I achieve it and um, I won't really inspire this design was because I got a message from a client asking me to do a simple and colorful poster all right so I decided to come up with this but please I'm going to be using two different Photoshop to achieve this all right I'm going to be using Photoshop CS6 and I'm going to be using Photoshop CC okay so the reason I'm using the two version of Photoshop is because on for on my Photoshop CC I don't have access to the oil paint filter all right so but on CS6 I have access to it so when I'm done applying the oil paint filter on Photoshop CS6 then I'll transfer it back to Photoshop CC all right so I'll see you guys in the tutorial I'm so excited <laughs> all right so first I'd like to crop out this image because this is um this is just the only image we're going to be using for this project so I'm going to crop the image out by um, first holding down control and space bar to, to zoom in Control space bar drag to zoom in so I'll crop the image now I have a macro selection now and I'm gonna make a copy by hitting Ctrl J or Command J to make a to crop out this image from the background and the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to add um, come here I'll click oil paint but I'd love to do this with um, the Photoshop um, CC 2018 is stored on my PC but I still don't understand why the oil paint is grayed out I'll show you what I'm saying when I get to Photoshop CC because we're going to finish this project with Photoshop CC 2018 so I'm going to adjust this now I'm going to move this down to about um, this point and um, let's see what stylus will give us yeah i think i'm okay with this i'm gonna hit okay good all right so i'll see you guys in um photoshop cc 2018. Um, i'm gonna create a new document now so i'll click on file Let's click on new and um yeah photoshop is kind of slow uh, so i'll make this um 560 by 560 all right 200 is fine. I'll call this phrase. Right. Press gem. Now create. All right. So I'm gonna drag this now. I should select the two layers. Now drag and drop this right here. And I'll hit Ctrl T or Command T on my keyboard to bring out the transform adjustment. And I'll position this here. Let's get it down. Okay. Let's try this here. Okay. You know what? Actually, I don't want this back to look this way. So what I'll do is I am going to make a marquee selection of this. I'm gonna hide this, all right, and I'll go to select, modify, and click on expand. So I'll make this four, four is fine, and I'll go to edit, um, fill, and I hit OK. Yeah, so I'll hit Ctrl D. Because I don't want that to, I'm about to scale this background, and if I don't do that, 
while I'm scaling it, the image, my crop image will still be on the background and it will affect my design. So I have my transform adjustment again with the same shortcut with this control T or command T and I'll increase this and I'll push this to this side, push this, push this to this side. All right. And I'll make this video good and I'll go to filter on this layer. So let me just call this artist. All right. Hit enter and I'll make a copy of this. And now I'll hide this and I'll go to filter, sharpen, on sharp mask. All right. And I'll increase this because I actually want this um, shiny effect here to be more stronger. So increase this there. Increase this. Increase this. Mm -mm. all right so i'm okay with this i'm gonna hit okay so i'll zoom out all right and back on this layer i'm gonna hide this layer then i am going to create a new layer and i'll call this paint all right and i am going to come here and choose red all right and i'll create a new layer now before I create a new layer, I need to apply a red to this layer. So I'm going to go to my brush tool and sorry, and make sure I'm on the soft round brush, which is this. All right, I'm going to I'm trying to make the background look more colorful. Okay, so I don't want that. I there's there's an effect I'm about to do now, so I need to have different feel of um, colors here. So that's what I'm, I'm. That's what I'm trying to do now. So I'll increase the size of my brush. Okay, and I'll brush this part just like this. All right, and I'll create a new layer. Then I'm gonna call this. Um, I'll call this paint again, and then just call brush. All right. Then um, I'm going to click on the, um, what's it called? Okay, so I'm going to come here. I'll rest my mouse on the brush tool to, set, to bring out the um, fly out menu for the other brushes. All right, so I'm going to click on mix a brush and I'll make sure this is set to 100, 100. Mix this should be 100. Everything should be 100. All right. And I'm going to use. I'm going to use a very funny brush here. So I'm going to use this. All right. Now, most of the brush I have here, you can get them online by going to Google and then just type grunge brushes. Or um, you can use the default brush that came with your Photoshop. Make sure sample all here is checked because if this is not checked, this will only work on the empty layer and as it is we don't have anything on the layer so if i try to brush now nothing happen but if this is check it's going to look at the layer below the um the layer i'm about to apply the effect to and then apply all the colors mix them together and then put them on this new layer all right so i'm going to zoom out now and i'll start brushing now you see you get the idea all right so i'm going to start brushing Brush, 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 zoom in. I'll brush now. Since I'll do my brush.
you can't see it anymore because this layer is on top of this layer so if i click yellow here put yellow here and put yellow here and i go back to the mix to brush i can even use another brush all right i can even use another brush okay i don't want space so close this now i can reduce this and i'll brush all right uh, yeah that brush is slowing down my pc so i'm going to go back and use something that will not slow down my computer because i don't want to waste time on this tutorial all right so i'm gonna brush now okay now why i don't want this uh, layer visible is because when i make this layer visible and i try to brush it will apply the effect to it will think it's going to have this um, image this layer to the group of colors here. so i don't want that to happen because of this um box that we checked here so i don't want that to happen so i'm going to hide it again and i'll just continue with my color mixing so i'm gonna do this all right so i think this is it okay i think i'm okay with this okay then the next thing i'm going to do is to go to filter sharpen smart sharpen all right i want to give it more life okay i want to give my paint um effects more life so i'm going to increase the size of the amount to something around this size all right two zero three this is going to slow down your pc a little bit so if i hit okay now all right so i have um this if i zoom in you see i have this kind of tiny noise on the image all right now if you want to go further you can still come here and click on this now the reason why you can't really see it over there is because i'm recording it i'm being a recording so well, if you apply this please try make sure you see the effects of um, what you're doing before you overdo it all right now you can see i have this cool effect here all right this is exactly what i'm looking for all right can you see this place can you see this side all right so i'm okay with this and i'll make this visible then the next thing i'm going to do is i am going to create a new layer i'm going to create a new layer by clicking on this icon and i'll go to my brush preset right here and i'll scroll down to click on my watercolor brushes now if you want to get these brushes online it's very easy just search for watercolor brushes and just go to google and then search for watercolor brushes and you have this type of brush all right now the reason why it's not working is because i'm not on the right tool so i'm going to come here and change this to brush and i'll go back to my brush preset and use the same brush again now i'm going to increase the size of the brush now and i'll make sure my foreground is white so i'm, I'm using the x key on my keyboard to switch the colors all right so i'm going to reduce the size of my brush and i'll randomly apply the color to different areas on the layer all right on different area on my artboard so I'm gonna come here and make this like this. Alright, so you get the idea. Alright. Alright, so this is looking this image is looking too blurry, so I'm gonna you no. Know, okay, so it's looking too blurry, so I'm gonna make this a little bit more sharp. So to do that, I'm going to go to filter, 
sharpen and I'll click on smart sharpen and I am going to leave this figure the way it is or increase it a little bit more and I'll hit OK all right it's loading good so I can still go again and apply smart sharpen again just to make it more look just to give it more life yes I think I like it this way so I'm gonna reduce it just a little bit cool yeah it's fine now and the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to create a new layer again by holding I'll hold on alt or option and I click on this icon here and I'll call this burn and I'll change this to overlay click on fill overlay and I'll hit OK and I'll go to the bond tool right here and I'll increase the size of my brush make sure this is set to 50 and I'll start brushing all right brush so I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing I'm gonna zoom in all right so I'm gonna come here and I'll zoom brush I should just push this up a little bit so I'll hit ctrl T or command T to bring out the transform option and I'll push this up all right I'm going to zoom up just a little bit. Yeah, I think this is nice. All right, so let's start adding our text because I think we are good to go now. But let me just do one more thing again. I'm going to apply the curve adjustment. So I'm going to copy the curve just a little bit. Curve. All right. I think I'm okay with this and if you want to make the color pop up more you can use the hue adjustment to increase the color All right now this is looking more colorful to me and I think I'm fine with this and um, let's start adding our text sorry which is this all right but I'm gonna show you what I do when I'm putting my text on my um, when I'm doing design how I normally arrange my text what I do is first I always do this all right I always do a small square from here to here because you know when your design is well aligned it makes everything looks neat and fine so I create a new layer with um, the new layer icon and I'll just call this box I'll call this box and I hit enter all right so I'll fill it with yellow so I'm using control backspace now to apply color or command to back uh, command backspace so I apply my background color so I'm going to bring out my ruler and I'll drag this here but just in case you can't find your ruler right here the way I have mine what you just need to do is to hit command command R or command control R on your keyboard like this and you see my real ruler it is without control R this is before this is when the ruler is not on the screen and this is after hitting the control R on my keyboard or else I'm going to drag this and drop this here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this all right I'm going to move this to this side okay and I'll just drag this here like this and I'll drag this from top to bottom like this good and the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to put this up right this okay yeah and this like this this off by this point and I'll draw a ruler and right I always like to have this big space here so uh, this is where I mostly add my team because I know this is where I'm gonna add my team so I always have the space bigger than every other space all right so this is where I'm gonna add my team now so I'm gonna make this visible now now I'm going to position this here and this sorry shut this somewhere here and this one should go up here this should go up here like this and this should touch here that should touch somewhere here. 
All right. Good. And this will come down. Now shift select the three layers and click on this just to make sure everything is well aligned. All right. So, so I'm going to hit Control H to hide all the grids, all the rulers. All right and con that control h or for mac users you can just hit command h so let's start applying colors to give that design life so i'm going to come here and I'll click on um my right click and select this and i'll make this red all right so i'm going to make this red Make this red okay and the font i use here is a vertical nail so it's the same font i have here so i'm going to make this black all right and for this one i'll make this this and i'll make this um i want to make this black I can pick a color from here and I can do the same thing here use black and I can even select multiple layers together and apply colors to them like this so I hold down control or command to select multiple layers and I'm gonna apply black to them all right but I want this to be different I want this I want the title to have another color I want the December, the December to have a different color from the um, other alphabet. So I'm going to make this red. I just want it to stand out from them. All right. I want this December to stand out from the dates so as to, you know, call people's attention to it. And um, I'm going to post select so like this and I'll make this black okay and i'll make this visible i'll make this black also sorry and the next thing i'm going to do is this my paint background i'm going to make a copy of it and i'll push this up and i'll power clip it inside the praise um text all right it paints uh, the praise layer so to do that i'm going to hold down control or option on my keyboard and i'll click to power clip it and I'll hit the um, transform adjustment with Ctrl T and I'll push this up and I'll position this somewhere here. Make this something around here. Alright, and I'll change the color to black, I guess. Oh, sorry. So let's make this smaller more again. I'm still gonna make it smaller. Alright. So one other thing I can do is I can you make a mask of this and go to brush. Just the size of my brush and I can just make sure this is set to black. And I can just brush out some part of the. All right, so I'm using the square bracket to reduce the size of my brush. Okay, just brush out some part so as to give it that grungy feel. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see if I can use another cool brush again just to give it more. Um, Alright, so I'm using this brush. So I'm gonna reduce I'm gonna um close down close the spacing and I'll reduce the size. 
with my square bracket sorry that's too much I'm going to take control alt z to go back so I'll just apply it just a little bit all right then I'll do the same thing for the jam which is I'm gonna make a copy again with Control J or Command J on my keyboard and position it here. Hold on Alt or Option and power clip it again, and I'll reduce the size of this of the layer with the the Control T adjustment. Um, Control T adjustment, and I'll hit Enter, and I'll come here and choose a darker color again. But for this one, I prefer to make it look like this. Alright. So I'm not going to do anything to this. I'll just put, make this look like this. I'll get this one here. Oh, you know what? Let me see if I can do this. Let's just do the same thing just to make it uniform. Alright, so I'm going to hit brush now. And I'll come here. I'll scroll down to look for my watercolor brush again okay so I'll reduce the size close the space the spacing and it's way too small let me change it um, change it uh, no okay let me um, I'm gonna use this so I'll use the square bracket to reduce the size of my brush and I'll brush All right. okay, so you get the idea can even rotate the brush I'm gonna rotate the brush to face another angle notice I added too much of it here so I'm going to eat X on my keyboard to switch the color the foreground and the background color and I'll clear some part back okay so I think I'm almost done so the last thing we're going to do now is to add noise so to add noise I'm gonna collapse this layer now I would advise you always put your stuff in the folder all right so as to make your layer more neat and fine so I'm gonna hit alt and click here and I'll call this noise then I'm gonna make this black and I'll hit alt backspace but make sure this is set to black and white so I'm gonna click on this icon right here and I'm gonna to go to filter go to noise say add noise and I'm going to make this go to about this point. All right, then I'll go to future, sharpen, smart sharpen, and I'll make this, I'll increase it to about this point, make a 400, because I actually want to have more of those white parts visible. And I'm going to hit OK. Now, this time I am going to. Um, go to adjustment um, panel go to gradient and I'll choose this color I actually want this kind of um, feel okay so I'm gonna put this so I'll hit OK and I'll hit OK then I'll mesh the two layers so I'll hit command E or control E to mesh the two layers and I'll call this noise again. And now I'm gonna go to fit. I'm gonna go to the blend mode and select soft light. All right. And I'm no sorry. It should be overlay, not soft light. And I'm gonna reduce the opacity just a little bit. Now can you see those tiny white dots right there? That's the work of the noise. All right. And this is it. If you enjoyed the tutorial, if you do, please remember to hit the thumbs up button below. And if you if the, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I post my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Peace out.